Is it really morning already? Wait, what? How is it already 8 a.m.? Mom, you let me oversleep on the first day at a new school. That girl, I tried to get her up 30 minutes ago. Not really the impression I wanted to make on the first day of school, but I guess I will have to do. Mom, why didn't you wake me up? You totally let me sleep through my alarm. I went into your room twice. You could sleep through a tornado, Adley. I was up late last night. I could hardly get any sleep. You know how I am. I'm just really excited for a fresh start at a new school. Oh dear, there's no reason to keep yourself up with worrying. Just be you and that's enough. Thanks, Mom. What you should be worried about is how late you're going to be if you don't get a move on. The school's a 10 minute walk, so I'd go soon if I were you. Your brother left on time this morning. Oh, shoot, you're right. Bye, Mom, I love you. I can't wait to tell you all about it when I get home. Good morning, Dad. Bye, Dad. Bye, honey. Have a great first day. I'm guessing she overslept again like usual. What's new? I got the morning paper, honey. And I got the morning coffee. Cold brew with cream, your favorite. You look a little lost. Are you new here? Oh, yeah, I'm new, and I'm totally lost. Don't worry, I can help you. My name's McKenna. It's nice to meet you. Let me take a look at your schedule. Thank you so much. My name's Adley. Oh my gosh, you're in the same first period homeroom as I am, Mr. Harris' class. What? No way. How lucky is that? I know, right? Let's walk together. I can show you around the school later too if you want. That'd be awesome actually. I have no clue where my locker is either. Back home, my school was a shoebox compared to this place. Wow, you think this place is big? Wait till you see the rest of the city. I know, all the buildings are so tall. Hello students, and welcome to your sophomore year homeroom. I'm Mr. Harriet. I'll be your homeroom teacher for the year. I know that today's class may be seen as kind of pointless, given that you don't have any homework yet, but you will soon, so we'll be using this period as a study hall. I'm here to help with anything you might need during the school year. Go ahead, talk amongst yourselves, collaborate, make friends. I'll be at my desk if you need me. So, what brings you to Greenland Park, Adley? Um, well, I guess my family wanted a change of scenery. We're from a really small town, so we need a fresh start. <laughs> okay. Well, just between me and you, is there anyone you have your eyes on yet? My eyes on... Have you met any cute boys? Duh. Oh, well, no. I haven't even really left my house much since I got here, since I've been unpacking. 
And I promised myself not to get caught in boy drama here. Interesting answer. So you've had boy drama before. <laughs> you sure are boy crazy, aren't you? Well, obviously. That's what high school's all about, right? What about grades? Boring. Everyone else worries about homework and sports here. But I just want a boyfriend. That's my goal this year. Well, I wish you the best with that. Let's make it happen. The bell? Already? Aw, no fun. I have history now. What do you have? Let's see. Um, biology with Mr. Peters. Aw, no fun. That's upstairs on the second floor. I guess it's time for us to part ways, but I'll see you later, right? Of course. Thanks for all the help this morning. <laughs> no problem, girly. Hi, sir. Are you Mr. Peters? I'm still trying to find my way around. That would be me. Looking for a second period biology? This is the place. Go ahead and take a seat anywhere. Hey, I'm Adley. Do you mind if I sit here? Uh, sure. I don't care. Well, students, welcome to biology. Take a look around. Does everyone like where they are seated? Great. These will be your seats for the year, then. The student sitting next to you will be your lab partner, so prepare to get to know them well. Here in my class, I don't really believe in homework and redundant worksheets. Your grade will rely mainly on a few long-term projects that we work on as the year progresses. This will require you and your partner to work together. That being said, I'm going ahead and assigning your first project of the semester. You will be working together to gather various different soil samples around Greenwood Park. The experiment we will be doing revolves around seed sprouting. You will choose a plant of your choice and grow that same plant in different soils and conduct your findings on what soil works best for growing your seeds. Start brainstorming and good luck! Wow, a few projects to determine our overall grade? That's major pressure. Mr. Peters sounds intimidating, but he's a great teacher. He wouldn't set us up for failure. I'm Kaylin. What did you say your name was? I'm Adley. I guess we're partners for the year. Looks to be that way. Well, I'm new. Do you know any good places to collect our soil? I do have a few ideas. Definitely we can start by getting some in our own backyards. That can be our first step. Then probably the beach and maybe the forest. The forest? Aren't we living in a city? Wow, you really are new. Greenwood has its own state park. It's only a few hours away, so it's not that outlandish for us to want to gather soil there. Okay, I mean, it's kind of far in my opinion, but it's a great idea. So, let's do it. Oh, I don't have a car though. No worries. I actually have a car, so we're set in that department. Do you have your own camping supplies? Camping supplies? I thought we were just going to get soil and come back. <laughs> that would be such a waste, driving five hours there just to drive back immediately. I guess you're right. I do have a sleeping bag somewhere, I think. That should be good. I can provide the rest. You sure are passionate about school to want to drive five hours to collect soil, aren't you? Top of the class, actually, and I intend to keep it that way. Plus, I love science. Science isn't my strongest subject, so it's a good thing I have you as a partner then. Sure thing. We should start doing some research, though. There's McKenna. I'll go sit with her. Hadley! How is your first day at Greenwood High going? Meet any cute boys? Oh, McKenna. You'll be the first to know if I do. It's actually going great. I was kind of dreading my science class, but I think I've made a friend. No way! Who is it? I probably know them. His name's Kalen, and he's really smart. I kind of lucked out having him as my lab partner this year. Kaylin? As in Kaylin Edwards? Um, maybe? I didn't catch his last name. Oh, that's him over there. 
Yep, that's Kaylin Edwards, all right. What's wrong? Is he bad or something? Oh no, he's fine. It's his girlfriend he should be worried about. She's the most jealous person I have ever met. Oh, well, it's not like that, so she won't have any reason to worry. <laughs> that doesn't matter to her. She'll be so mad if she finds out the two of you are talking, let alone friends. Hey man, do you see that girl over there? What girl? There's like a million of them. The blonde girl over there, sitting with McKenna. She's pretty cute. We should go say hi. Do you mean Adley? Wait, you already know the cute girl's name? <laughs> you player! <laughs> <sighs> Not like that, she's just my lab partner for Mr. Peter's class. Wait, where are you going? Hello, ladies. McKenna, introduce me, will you? Hello, Raiden. Nice to see you, too. This is Adley. It's her first day here. I would have guessed. I don't think I'd forget seeing her around. Um... Hey, Kaylin. Nice to see you. Hey. We should go sit at our table. I'm starving. What's wrong with McKenna and Adley's table? Looks fine to me. Sure, you can sit here. Thanks for asking beforehand. Can you believe the amount of homework they assigned to us on the first day back? What the hell? What? What's wrong? Who the hell is that girl, and why is she with my boyfriend? I have absolutely no idea. I've never seen her before. Hey babe, I missed you. What's going on over here? Aren't you going to introduce me to your friend? Actually, no. I was just trying to tell Raiden that we're just about to go sit at our table. Perfect. Let's go then. See you there, Raiden. Well, the Ice Queen made it a man, so we must all obey. <laughs> Sorry, Adley, but I will for sure see you next time. What did I tell you? That was the most bizarre thing I've ever seen. Oh, honey, that's just the beginning. Let's go get some food. I'm starved. Mom, I'm home! Oh, hello honey! How was your first day? It's amazing! I love all my classes and I've even made a new friend today. A new friend? That's amazing, dear. Yeah, her name's McKenna and she's a little eccentric, but so nice. Hey little sis, I miss you at school today. I know, I guess we don't have the same lunch period, huh? Guess not. How was your first day? It was great. What about you? You know, same old, same old. I have so much homework already though, so I'm going to get started. See you guys later for dinner. Homework? On the first day? You'd be surprised, Mom. They pile it at the school. It's more competitive than our tiny school back home. The door? Would you get that, dear? I'm going to start making dinner. Oh, hi! Hey, I'm Brennan. I live next door and I thought I'd introduce myself. Nice to meet you. I'm Adley. I think we go to the same school. Yeah, I go to Greenwood High too. 
I was going to try to introduce myself this morning on the walk to school, but I think we missed each other. <laughs> Sorry about that. I woke up a little late this morning. No problem. Maybe tomorrow? For sure. I'll try not to sleep through my alarms this time. Great. Well, I'll see you then. You know what? I think I'm gonna like it here. <laughs>